As soon as you hear someone mention moving to Atlanta, like clockwork, you hear someone else yelling, we're full. Why do they say this? What do they mean? Today we're gonna find out. Engage. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. Passport King shows you samples of travel destinations so you can make an informed decision while picking your next vacation. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. When you're young, you may associate bad accents and mispronunciations of words with someone being dumb. When I first heard some of the people in Atlanta talking, I thought this has got to be the dumbest batch of people I've ever ran into in my life. They leave the last few letters off of most words and they jumble so many words together that it's impossible to understand if you're not used to it. I remember someone telling me, oh, let's do it was the most popular song on the radio. I had no idea what they was talking about. Then they play what sound like Ole Due. And I was like, how on earth did you understand that? I moved down here on my own 16 years ago, but even before that, my mother sent me down here because I was acting a ass in high school in New York City. I stayed with my brother for about a year and a half and listening to the folks down here talk was comical. And the chicks in my new school treated me and my New York slang like I was a FEMA doctor in a poor country coming to administer some medicine to beat a disease that they couldn't get under control. I was treated like a superstar. But that was in the 90s though, so don't expect the same infatuation with your accent these days. But after a short time and getting to know people, my perspective slowly started to change. I slowly started to realize that even though these dudes and chicks was talking differently from me, they really knew what they were talking about. I realized I was talking to some of the smartest, most enterprising and calculated people I had ever met in my life. The circle I surrounded myself with was different but made me ashamed to think that I ever thought an accent could determine how smart or not someone is. And in all reality, I was the one with the accent being that I was a visitor. And I say all that to say, a whole lot of people who were born in Atlanta are extremely street smart, well educated and dope people to be around. Martin Luther King Jr., Maynard Jackson, we're from Atlanta. Listen to T.I. or Killer Mike speak and you'll see that they're brilliant. The most insightful and fact-driven knowledge you'll ever get from a political pundit will come from Glenwood Road's own Rashad Ritchie. But at the same time, there are some really corny, snobby for no reason, proud to be bummy dummies who were also born and raised in Atlanta. And the number one thing these mentally less fortunate people constantly do is use old, tired cliches. You'll catch them saying something useless like, I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. Or, you may have come here, but I'm from here. Or, you take the good and the bad and you glad. Or, I was born and raised, corn fed and grazed. Or some other tired, unoriginal rhyming thingamajig that they'll say that I guess at some point help old black farmers remember how to milk cows or some shit. A lot of people who move down here slowly start to forget their style, originality, and essence. I guess it's an assimilation process, and these transplants will start to become followers of the corny, dummy AT aliens. And those transplants are the creators of the phrase, don't move to Atlanta, we fall. <laughs> Don't move to Atlanta, we fall. It's a cliche that only people who also move to Atlanta use. Cliches take no effort to repeat. According to the dictionary, cliches are phrases or opinions that are overly used and betrays the lack of original thought. They're a lot like memes, but this one is like reposting a meme from 2012, old and corny. Maybe it was clever the first time you heard it or read it on a shirt, but now it's just predictable and annoying. But let's end this today. Is Atlanta full? Well, watch the end of this video so you can get that answer. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and press the notification bell. All right, so first let's figure out how are the highways. On Friday rush hour, both Chris Tucker movies for some reason, the highways are horrendous. They will be packed bumper to bumper. But what's interesting is you could be on that same exact route at the same exact time of day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, and those roads would be so empty you would rarely see anyone in your rear view mirror. No exaggeration, on Monday you could drive from as far north of Metro Atlanta to as far south as possible of Metro Atlanta in about an hour. Saturday afternoons will probably get you stuck behind construction on the 285 highway, but not many people are traveling that time of day on a Saturday anyway. But just keep that in mind if you're going to the airport or a day party. Well, why and how is that possible? After all of my years of living here, I still can't figure it out. I guess it has something to do with visitors coming in for the weekend. But to this day, after 16 years, it's still puzzling 
puzzles me. But instead of sitting around pondering about why this is happening and singing, we shall overcome this traffic. What you could do is plan ahead on Friday since you know what awaits you on the roads and then poof, that problem is solved. Is it expensive to live in Atlanta? It is not expensive to move to Atlanta. The prices of everyday items are about the same as they will be in most big cities around the country, but you will save on everything else when it comes to everyday cost of living expenses and convenience. Go to the movies and within minutes you'll be eating popcorn watching very popular movies in a not so crowded theater. Popular restaurants will sometimes make you hold for a table, especially on holidays, but the most they will say is about 30 minutes. I recall restaurants in New York making us wait three to four hours for a table. And of course, I've mentioned this in my previous videos about Atlanta, but visiting public services places like DMV, the court and registration, or even IRS building is still like living in a parallel universe compared to what I was used to in New York. So no, we're not fooling that department either. Well-paying jobs are still easy to get if you have the right skills. And if you keep your skills updated, you won't have to worry about someone taking your job or getting paid more than you. If you don't have skills, almost every retail store, supermarket, and gas station has a now hiring sign on their front door. If this place was so full, there wouldn't be so many available jobs. If your job ain't paying you enough, either upgrade your skills or you could have made sure you got a degree in something that's actually marketable. If you're looking for an apartment, and you have the money for the first and last month's rent, you can move in that day. No waiting list. Full cities can't say that. Just make sure you start looking for a steady income immediately. The same goes for homes. New houses are being built everywhere and the only thing that's gonna keep you out of them is your budget, not a lack of space. It depends on what you're used to and willing to deal with when it comes to how much money you need to live comfortably in Atlanta. Clubs can get crowded, but there's always still room to move around, unlike clubs I've been to in New York City, Miami, and Vegas. Atlanta ain't full, and a lot of people who say that are selfish haters and full of shit. They have a good thing going down here in Atlanta, and they don't want to share. All right, well, I'll give you this. Honestly, a lot of people did move away from their native cities to put space between themselves and certain people. And to see them getting off a Greyhound bus in front of your new house in Atlanta can be very disappointing. So I guess that's why they coined the term. Are you thinking about moving to Atlanta but don't want to go from one crowded city to the next? Are you currently living in a small city and want to see what big city living is like? Type Atlanta ain't full and I'm coming down <laughs> in the comment section below and ask any questions you might want to know about living in Atlanta. In the playlist I'm attaching to the end screen, I want you to take notice of how my experience has been living in Atlanta. So is Atlanta paradise? No. Is Atlanta a good place to live? Yes. Is it full? Not by a long shot. Can you get treated like a king? Yes, a passport is big.